Hello and welcome to our series on learning to fight with the two-handed sword, where we have a look at Marozzo's Primo Assalto. This time we practice lots of cool stuff. One could even argue that the second part is Marozzo's perfect answer to the attacks in the last part. First I'll show you a more common interpretation and then some of my shenanigans. We start in Porta di Ferro Alta. Right leg forward and sword at our lower left. Our opponent throws a punta in falso to our outside, our right, to draw us out and hit us with some mandrito on our left afterwards. To defend, we beat the thrust to the right with the false edge, pushing forward with the left hip. This is to cover our right side and prepare our riposte. Step forward with your left foot and thrust a punta in crossata to the face, ending in guardia di croce. It's really important to make your parry go into the counter thrust immediately. If you parry too far to your right, you will give your opponent the opportunity to hit with mandriti on your left. Note that there are two ways to reach guardia di croce. The usual thing I see is to just turn the sword to make your true edge pointing upwards. Another possibility is to just turn your right hand on the grip of your sword a bit. Now the false edge is pointing upwards and in my opinion this is just a more efficient movement and has some nice implications for the next play. There we are told to step with our right leg to the right and let the left leg follow while we throw a rising falso to his right hand. Without stopping, throw a tramazzone into Cinghiara Porta di Ferro. Since that is a left leg forward guard, this indicates another step with our right. Now, the standard interpretation goes with a falso dritto from our lower right and steps forward again behind the opponent's sword to land the tramazzone offensively. I honestly don't like it too much, because this motion just takes forever in my opinion. If Marozzo just wanted us to feign to the low right to land the tramazzone, he could have told us, or could at least omit the following step with the left leg to our right side. No, I think he wanted us to go for that hand cut, and the tramazzone is just a cover if we get overbound. This way the footwork actually feels like not stopping my momentum like the text indicates. If you have gone for the small hand motion in the play before, you can also throw the rising falso like a rising twerho from the right, making this whole sequence super smooth in my opinion. Just do not thumb the blade as it makes it hard to throw the falso in a steep angle without putting lots of pressure onto your thumb. Marozzo really likes his rising falso, so here he might have taught us how to follow it up if the opponent actually stays close to us. And the last play of the sequence is almost the same as last time. We draw our left leg near the right, parry in guardia di croce and move back with the rising falso again, letting the left leg follow. Of course you could apply my shenanigans here as well. I always suggest some variety in training, as it helps to keep the mind even sharper than all blades. For now, I would like to thank you for your attention, like, comment and share this video with a friend. Until next time, take care.